Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. It's finally time for a Project Pan update. I'm pretty late on this, I'm behind with everything, but it's fine. I'm catching up. I have some empties, which I'm pretty happy about. I've got some pretty good progress. Usually I would start with empties and then go into progress and my other stuff, but it's a mess. So I'm gonna start from the start. Freya wants to... No, don't lick my leg. Don't do it. Are you going to say hello or are you just... No, she was just coming over to lick my leg. Great. Um, so I'm going to start at the start and I'm going to wor work my way through. So first up is the NARS Tinted Glow Booster. Now I have finally marked this. I wasn't marking it previously because it sort of sits... It does settle in the bottle, which is great makes like visually seeing what's been used uh, really easy but it creeps up a little bit so you can see on this side like it's actually sitting down here but then over on this side it's sitting up higher and that's because I have it laying down so it doesn't settle completely anyway I did mark it this time I took kind of a guess based on where it's sitting at its highest point where it's sitting at its lowest point I just kind of put it in the middle uh, the reason why I made so much progress on this um, in like the last month is, well, to be fair, this is like progress of the whole year so far. I've started using this on my body. I've been using my hourglass highlighter on my body uh, throughout summer and I really like the way it looks and this gives a similar effect and I thought I'm never going to actually finish this up on my, I mean I can eventually it would happen but it's going to take me a hell of a long time and do I am I trying to do that am I trying to sort of keep these products around for like a whole another year even though they're already old not really that's not the purpose of having them in the project so I've started using it on my body a little bit specifically my legs I don't know how much longer I'll really be able to do that because like it's autumn here uh, it's still hot as hell, but I figured I'll get a little bit of use out of it uh, while I can. Foundation is Isonox Silk Cover. This one was 81.07 grams. It's now 78.16 grams. That's what she's looking like. It's getting to the point where it's quite difficult to use. If you've used cushion products, you'll know what I'm talking about. After a while, you, you've used up a significant amount of the product and it's hard to pick stuff up. So what I do now is I store it upside down so that gravity can do its thing while I'm not using it. And I have started to um, have to flip over the sponge a few times uh, throughout the week, which is, that's where the product starts to, like I start to sort of second guess whether I even want to keep it in the project anymore or just move on to something else. I think I'll go for another month, but I don't, yeah, I, I don't enjoy pulling the sponge out and flipping it over and then having makeup all over my fingers and under my fingernails. And yeah, I just think it's kind of gross and unhygienic. It is supposed to have 15 grams of product in it. When I started with this one, it was brand new and it was 82.68 grams. It's now 78.16. So I haven't even used, like, we're not even close to 15 grams. I've used like not even four grams of product yet. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. I want this done ASAP. Like, I want it done yesterday. I'm even like, there's a few times where I considered just decluttering it. Um, I'm using, or I was using the Fenty uh, Wear Even Hydrating Concealer. And now I'm currently playing with the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. And this is just not like, they don't compare. I really want to stick with those, but I kind of want to finish this. I paid money for it. I do have progress. That's where I was at the last update. I'm there now. I, I hate the cap. A few people have mentioned this in the comments. Um, they like the concealer and all that jazz, but the cap is like so hard to get on and off. And that's true. Like, come on, man. Maybe I should just declutter it. <laughs> You know what? Let's do it. Yeah, I've got two. These are my two oldest concealers, right? And then I went and bought 
um, two new ones. I'm going to declutter both of them because I don't like them. Declutter drawer. There we go. And yes, I do have a declutter drawer. It's not full enough to create a video yet. KVD Locket Blotting Powder. I use the shade Light. She's done, all finished. I really enjoyed this powder and I'm kind of sad that it's done um, because it means I have to move on to something else and I just don't really, like I've forgotten what I think about the powders in my stash at the moment. I have pulled out a new one to pan. I was going to pan the Tatcha Silk powder whatever it's called um i'm wearing that today i don't i don't know if i like it to be honest it might get decluttered um but i was looking at my inventory list and i realized that the tatcha powder is not as old as some of the other powders i own and i need to oh i don't need to but i want to work on my oldest powders first so i pulled out this this is the nabla close-up baking and setting powder this is basically brand new like I've used this probably less than half a dozen times. So I've marked it up here. It contains 30 grams of product. I don't know if this will actually like stay in the project. I, I don't really remember what I think about this. It's been like two years now since I tested out all of my face powders. So I can't really like, I, I can't remember. I don't know. Um, but also that probably tells you like if I tested out all of my face powders two years ago to see how I felt about them and I'm only just now getting around to like trying this out again like that's a bad sign in the category of powders this year might be less about panning and more about decluttering <laughs> via project pan uh so we'll see how we go but if i love it then i will just use it and that's great but if not um i may declutter it so we'll see how we go we'll see my mac mini setting spray fix plus uh this was a watermelon one i finished this um i mean there was like barely anything in there so as i should have finished it from omravixa it's the queen of hungary mist this was like basically brand new. I have marked it here. I've used it like a couple of times. This is the next one that I want to pan. Um, I love the mister on this, but I think it's just like, like I want to say it feels like bougie water. It's There's more in it than that, but it, I just don't feel like I get as much out of it as some of my other setting mists. So this is the next one that I want to pan. Okay, let's do this one. Hourglass. I'm so happy about this. It's the Illum Sheer Color Trio in Sunset. I hit pan. I hit pan on the highlight. It's baby pan and it is cheats pan because I was like, I thought I was so close, so, so, so close. And every now and then I'd like stick my nail in it just to see how deep it went down. These pans are quite deep. Um, and each time I did that, I was like, I'm nowhere near where I need to be um, but I did like a members video um, which I don't hopefully that will be live before this goes live I have a lot of editing to do um, I did a, a members video where I was doing my makeup and chit chatting and I hit pan in that video so and being a cream every time I use it the pan is sort of covered back up again and then uncovered and then covered back up so I'm not like I'm nowhere near really being done with this but um, I'm feeling good about my usage. The highlighter honestly gets more use than probably anything else in the palette because I have been using it on my body quite a bit. So this one was 82.15 grams it's now 80.86 grams so I'm very happy about that and I love it it's a beautiful palette my eye primer is the Ulta Beauty matte eye primer I'm still going with this I did I marked it at the last update I think um, but I'm not I'm not doing it again we've discussed it before it's gonna take me a long time all right this is the hardest part some other things that I don't have progress to like visually show you via weight is a Maybelline Hype Sharp Wing Liner I haven't I mean I'm wearing it today but I haven't really been gravitating towards it too much lately but that's right go through phases it is what it is and precisely my brow like I I use this every time I do my makeup but because it contains less than a gram of product like I, my scales just don't really like 
I mean, they measure in the 0.00 of a gram, but yeah, I'm not like, it doesn't actually pick it up. That's what I've got left. Um, I don't, I don't think I will bother weighing this. Maybe I'll, when it's done done, I will weigh it and then we can like compare. A couple of pencils that I do have progress on. Um, Linda Holberg Calf Flash. So this one was 4.75 grams, now 4.63 grams. I use that, you know, on my lower lash line, tight line, water line, all that jazz. And I also have Colourpop Manika, which is my lip liner and I'm loving it still. This one was 6.8, it's now 6.57. Quick Brow from Quick Flick, here she is. I haven't really been using this much. I go through phases of whether I want to set my brows or not and at the moment I'm not really in that phase. Um, it was 19.01 grams, it's now 18.9 grams, so a tiny bit of use but nothing spectacular. Um, speaking of the Linda Holberg lip products, when I introduced these I said I wasn't gonna weigh them, I don't want to have to do that like every time I film um, and I'm just gonna see if they like settle as I use them. I did not use them enough to have any feeling where I think there should be visual progress if it's going if they're going to settle. I was mostly focusing on the Clarins Instant Light, which I did finish. She's done, fantastic. What I have been doing uh, with my everyday makeup drawer, I put like a whole bunch of lip products in there to test out, and I have been like playing around with them to sort of get a vibe of what. I want to keep and not keep um, and that's just meant that like project panning lip products has sort of gone to the wayside so I'm just gonna like allow myself the year to get through these while also trying to use and appreciate the rest of my lip collections okay let's talk about fragrances so I did finish where is it I finished up my last mini sample fragrance thank god this one is Floral Street Wild Vanilla Orchid. I do quite enjoy this. And the last two that I'm trying to pan this year, I've got Caroline Herrera Good Girl, which is in here. There's about half left. Um, and I have a Clinique Happy Heart. Now this was pretty much full. It's a rollable, least favorite type of perfume applicator. I'm just gonna put it out there. Uh, actually, no, second least. My least favorite are the minis that don't have a sprayer and it's just like a little open. Mm, no, hate that. Um, so these guys are the last ones that I'm going to try and pan this year. And then I'm just going to love my fragrance collection. Another empty. I finished up the Body Shop Almond Oil Daily Hand and Nail Cream. This was like, it's too thin. I didn't, I didn't love it. I mostly used it on my feet just to like get rid of it. I am introducing a new hand cream and by new I mean like she's brand spanking new. There's uh, I don't I don't think I've used this at all. Have I? Look, look how perfect it is. If you know what these tubes are like you know that that's metal uh, and it's completely sealed. There we go. Um, so this is from the uh, I see the body shop. It's from Mecca. It's the nourishing hand cream. I have finished one of these this last year, this year, last year, definitely not this year. And I, I don't mind it. I don't love it, but I've got another one. So I'm just going to like, let's pan it. Let's get rid of it. I finished up my lush shower jelly. This was whoosh. Um, I didn't, I didn't love the scent of this one. It wasn't a fave. Now I have two of these left and that's it. That's the last of my Lush shower jellies. I've got a couple from Bath and Body Works but they're a different consistency. Um, so I've got Snowman and I've got Sweetie Pie. Now I put both of these in my shower after I finished Whoosh and I've been using them. Um, I started off using Sweetie Pie first and because I'd never tried this one before Oh my god, it's like black currant heaven. So you can see that this one is almost completely full. I've sort of pulled a little bit out and used it. Love that. Um, and then I opened up Snowman because I was like, look, I've used Snowman before and I feel like if I'm remembering correctly, um, 
I prefer the scent of sweetie pie over what I remember this being. So I pulled it out to use it and this one was full as well. Um, and since opening it, it's been maybe, maybe two weeks. I've used half of it already. So these are going into the project. We'll just consider like this one is half done um, and sweetie pie is almost new. It's had a little bit of use. These don't take me long to use up at all. Uh, so I expect these both to be gone. I mean, it won't surprise me if Snowman is gone by the next update and I'm working um, back on Sweetie Pie. Okay, Bioderma. Mm, we're close. So it was here at the last update. It's now down here. I'm hoping, ugh, I'm hoping I might be able to finish this by the next update. Now I made more progress in the last month than I have previously. And I did, obviously, I wore makeup more often, but I wouldn't say I wore makeup a lot by any stretch of the imagination. So I think I need to wear makeup a lot in April and finish this because I've got a whole bunch of um, like little oil cleansers in my sample box that I want to finish up. Laneige, my lip sleeping mask. This one is vanilla. Uh, these are always, like every time I weigh this, I'm like, this is fun. I'm curious to see how much I've used up. I've got about half a tub left in there. It was 55.33 grams, now 53.51 grams. Um, I only really use this at night. Sometimes if I've got dry lips during the day and I like go into the bedroom for whatever, like I'll, I'll put it on if it catches my eye, but I've mostly been trying to use like the other lip products that are in my everyday makeup drawer to, you know, stretch it out a bit. So Laneige, she's a long-term relationship kind of product. Something else, man, I'm so glad I did this. I'm so freaking glad. My Zon, these are the Snail Repair Intense Gold Eye Gel Patches. You guys know I was panning these for a long time. I finished them up. Um, there was only, I think there was six pairs left in here. And what I did was I would put a pair under my eyes and a pair on my smile lines. These did nothing for me. Last year I panned different eye patches. I think the year before that I panned some another different brand. And I, I definitely feel that like some do something for me and some don't. And these were ones that just didn't and I think that's why I really struggled to get through them because I wasn't inspired to use them it just kind of felt like a, an extra step for no reason so yeah I wouldn't buy these again I think I have one more uh like container of eye gel patches and they are the good molecules ones so um I might crack into them eventually but I do have the bio effect eye masks in this project and I haven't started those yet so one thing at a time okay let's do some hair things we'll start with drunk elephant this is the detangling spray so I was there and I'm now down here I just use a few spritzes of this like you know I've got long hair so I can use a fair bit of it um, after my shower and then I just sort of comb comb it through, then go in with whatever other products I want to use. Um, it's a detangler and a heat protectant. I don't know how good it is at heat protecting, but you know, whatever. This will take me a while and that's fine. I don't really care. Uh, then Davines Natural Tech Elevating Massage Oil. So I've been struggling with this. Um, I find that I don't really like the scent of it and also I find it quite difficult to get it out of my hair. Someone actually uh, left a comment and said, why don't you try using it as a shaving oil? And I did. And I really like it. Problem is, I had legs of hair removal on my legs. So, and on my underarms and anywhere else that I, you know, wanted to remove hair. Because uh, I had to maintain it permanently. Um, and I don't need to shave all that often. I mean, I could shave more if I wanted to, but... I'm shaving like two hairs. So I would say that the amount of this that I use as a shaving aid in a one month period compared to the amount that I use as a scalp treatment in a one month period is much less. 
Um, so I'm not going to get through it as quickly, but I did make a little bit of progress. We were there. We're now down here. And I think what I might try to do is use this as a scalp treatment every now and then when I'm feeling in the mood and use it also as a shaving aid just to get through it. I really, I feel like I'm going to kind of fall in love with the idea of using oils for shaving. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm sure you can even buy products that are specifically designed for that. And I do like this for that purpose. Um, but I would also just say, and I'm, I'm sure that this is like a no brainer for most of you. Don't buy this for shaving your legs because it's fucking expensive. Okay. <laughs> so that is everything for my full size products. I'm pretty sure. Next, I want to talk about like my little samples. Now, this box was full when I introduced it at the start of the year. I have finished some up recently, which is good. I've still got a whole bunch on the go. As I open things from that box, um, I put it in with like my everyday sort of products that I'm using just so I don't forget about them. They don't get lost, all of that jazz. Um, and when I finish stuff, I put it in with the rest of my project pan empties. Now, I do have something here that I'm getting rid of. It's the Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream. I just don't really like the way that this feels on the skin. It has silicon quite high up in the inky list, and um, I don't really like the way it feels on my skin. I'm just not really a fan of it. Um, so I, yeah, I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna declutter that, which is fine. Uh, as for the things that I finished up, I used the Amore Pacific Vintage Single Extract Essence. Uh, I used this for a few days. There was enough in there for, you know, a few morning and night applications. I don't feel like I used it long enough to really develop any sort of vibe about it. Like if I'd been using it for a month, then I would probably be like, yeah, I kind of know what I think. It, it is what it is. Um, that's, oh, are you serious? Okay, you know what, let's talk about, let's move on. Who cares about the Amore Pacific Essence? Let's talk about these, which have irritated me to no end. Okay, <coughs> oh, I breathed it in, yep. All right, these are from Tatcha. They are the polished, I've got classic rice enzyme powder and I have the gentle rice enzyme powder. Pretty sure I've got, I don't know if you can see that like puffing out of there. So these are um, like rice, not rice, they're like powder cleansers, right? They come out as powder and you wet them and it turns into a cleanser. They smell, I don't, the way they smell is kind of gross. Also, it's very, very fine, so it sort of puffs up in the air. I don't know if you can really see that happening. And like when you're sort of trying to wet it, like tip it out and wet it and all that jazz, you breathe it in, it gets in your throat. I don't like them. Um, also, because they're so fine, especially, this is probably not an issue with the, um, like if you buy it in a full size, it gets stuck in the corners here and I've, obviously dislodge some and it's like tipped out in my lap. Anyway, I wouldn't buy these. I love Tatcha. You guys know it. Oh, I don't love Tatcha, but I like some of the products I've used from them. Uh, but these, no, not for me. Longcom Genifique uh, Youth Activate, Activating Cream. Mm, I like Genifique. I love the eye cream. I love, um, oh, sorry, not the eye cream, the eye serum. Um, and I believe there's face serum as well. The eye serum is just like it's fucking bee's knees if you ask me. But the creams that I've tried, not a huge fan. Uh, the last sample that I have, I think this is the last sample. It's the Lala Retro Whipped Cream from Drunk Elephant. This is a just, I don't know, it's a bit whatever for me, but you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of Drunk Elephant anyway. Um, I, not something I would buy, but I finished it up. I do think their samples are really cute. I'm just, I'm just gonna say, like the packaging of their samples is freaking adorable, okay? All right, so that's it for my Project Pan update. I will be back in a month with another update on my Project Pan. Hopefully some more empties. Hopefully the 
the foundation is like done skis and I can move on to the next cushion foundation. This year is going to be the year of cushion foundations being lovely and then driving me insane when they're almost done, but that's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me your comments down in the comments section. I want to say a massive thank you to my channel members. I really appreciate you guys and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.